winner's circle. That's four Breeders' Cup champions for Dwayne Lucas, the trainer and owner, Gene Klein, in two years, two last year, Capote and Lady Secret. Today, short prices on Lady Secret, somewhat of sweet revenge for Franz Valentine. Remember, two years ago, she was disqualified in the two-year-old uh, juvenile race. Outstandingly ju ruled the winner, and Franz Valentine dropped way down, but Franz Valentine gets second today ahead of Outstandingly. And let's go now to Bill Shoemaker with Tom Hammond. Bill Shoemaker is with us. He was second on Franz Valentine. Bill, she ran a nice race. She did. I thought before the race that I had a chance to beat her because my filly was coming into this race really good. Uh, but she wasn't good enough to beat Lady Secret today. In all the years you've been riding, Shoe, where does Lady Secret rank among the great fillies in America? Well, all the things that she's done in her racing career, she's got to be ranked up there with one of the, the best fillies that ever raced, I think. What's your assessment of Pat Day, one of the rising young stars of the riding colony, is your own sort of separate ends of the scale? A lot of people say Pat Day rides the way Shoe rides. Well, he rides awfully good. I don't know if I ride as good as he does, but uh, I've known he's been a good rider for many years, and uh, just the last two or three years, he's, he's getting the recognition that he deserves. Shoe, if you had to vote for Horse of the Year, who would you vote for? Well, that's a difficult question. You have to wait and see what the, uh, uh, the uh, horses do today. You know, yeah, and Turkle Man and, uh, and uh, Hooper Horse. I can't remember his name. Precision. Uh, Precision. Is, but, uh, I think one of those horses, if they win this race big today, should probably okay. win. Okay. Let's go to Jay Randolph. And here is the leading rider in America, a man who might be at Keeneland on Saturday afternoon at Fairmont Park on Saturday night and Calder on Sunday. Leading rider in America, once a rodeo rider in the bull rings around Brush, Colorado. Pat Day, you were marvelous on the lead all the way. Well, this fellow is just a tremendous individual, and Mr. Lucas and his, uh, his cr uh, crew have just done a phenomenal job with this filly, and, and it's, uh, it, it makes my job very easy. Uh, primarily just be a good passenger, and she does the rest. She's just just an awesome individual. You didn't hear it, but Willie Shoemaker just paid you a great tribute a moment ago. He said, you may be even a better rider than he is. You certainly had a clock in your head out there today. You knew what was going on all the way. Well, I knew that this filly was running easy, and uh, coming off the turn, I asked her to run. She finished up good. I knew that they was going to have to have the runner she was on if they was going to beat her today. And, and uh, I just had a tremendous amount of confidence in her and, and Mr. Lucas and Mr. Klein. And I just felt like she should certainly get the job done. All right, Harvey will visit with Mr. Klein and Mr. Lucas when we come back. But first, let's go quickly up to Dick. All right, Jay, a chance to salute another great horse. Lady Secret will earn her place in history, but there's John Henry, the all-time money winner, six and a half million dollars, the horse of the year at the age of nine, two years ago. That would be equivalent human years over 60 years old and the top horse of the year. John Henry, a great champion that stirs fond, rich memories. John Henry now taking command. Boyle Heroin down along the rail in second. Dijinsky secret is there. But here he is, a living legend. John Henry by two on the wire. Therapin Racing's first five million dollar baby. Down the stretch they come. The old man, John Henry, takes command. By a length, who's for dinner on the inside now charging up second. Win at the rail is third. Here they come to the finish. And here's John Henry in front. And that, of course, Dave Johnson calling the last race of John Henry. Chris McCarron, you had the pleasure of being aboard, John Henry. Your thoughts? I tell you what, every time I hear those calls, I get goosebumps. It, what an amazing animal. He gave me a lot of excitement. At nine years of age, still a great champion. And today, the crowd, a chance to applaud one of the greatest in the history of this sport. Let's go back down to Jay. All right, and we are here. Harvey has Mr. Gene Klein. Gene Klein, the man who owns this filly. We won't have a day for her. We're going to see her run a little bit more. You think she could run again next week? I think she could run again this afternoon if we wanted her to. She's in the Iron Lady. He's that kind of a filly. She's just unbelievable. She's just the best that ever ran. She does give you a chill. She probably is the best filly we've ever seen. Now you're going to tell me horse of the year, Mr. Lucas. Most well, certainly, Harvey. I think if you, if you look at all the credentials and, and factor in everything, and it's not horse of the moment, but horse of the year, this one is horse of the year, January to January, pound for pound. I don't think there's anybody that can dispute it. Well, I guess the Breeders' Cup Classic, people will be watching the time, see how it goes against Lady C. Oh, I'm sure, but time's head-to-head uh, -head competition. This was exactly what we wanted in the form of the race as it unfolded. Uh, we told Pat to let her do her thing, take them out of their game plan. If they go with her, they're dead. If they let her go in 46 like they did, 
it's all over. One ten three quarters, and you can just kiss it goodbye. We're getting another year of her. You're going to get another year of her, and she'll be around, I think, a long time. She's truly remarkable. Well, Wayne, probably, last year, excuse me, I just want to mention, last year, of course, it was life's magic. And uh, now this is an even bigger thrill, I suppose. Oh, I think so. With, with the accomplishments that she's done before the, the Breeders' Cup, I mean, all through the season, starting with January 3rd of last year, it's just a... Uh, uh, just the icing on the cake. To top it off this way was all we could hope for. Well, the chemistry between you gentlemen is something else. Let's we may go back see up. you next November at the next Breeders' Cup. Let's go back That's upstairs. Right. Well, there are no sure things, but Lady Secret pretty close. A $2 wager was worth a dollar. $3 to win, two sixty and two twenty. Franz Valentine, four eighty and two eighty, and finishing third outstandingly.